Uh, I am in a relationship. I, do, I, I don't want to. I, I, I'm straight. I sound aggressive, but I am straight. Uh, I was a lesbian once in Mexico. <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, and you find out you're not a lesbian in the middle of it when uh, she's like, "Now you're gonna do that to me." You're like, "Uh oh, I'm not a lesbian." Turns out I'm just a receiver. <laughs> Uh, we work at a place in uh, Sherman Oaks, it's called Stanley's, and um, I, uh, uh, you know, I, I'm a manager there, I don't know why, but uh, I, I manage a restaurant, I'm not really good at it, but uh, I do read the applications, and I don't know if anybody here works at the restaurant, but we had this girl, she filled in that application, and uh, there's a question on it, and says, what does the term 86 mean? Does anybody know what that means? Yeah, yeah it means to run out of something or kick somebody out. She wrote, it's when one partner and another partner are facing each other, but upside down. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, and she put a smiley face on the end. <laughs> so, yeah, the guys are like, hire her! <laughs> What's the problem? Now, I'm not very good at my job, okay? <laughs> and, um... <laughs> And I, I do things, and I don't mean to be inappropriate, but I just am inappropriate. It's like accidental inappropriateness, okay? So I'm at a table, it's happened in July. Uh, I have a table of old people I was waitering, and um, they're my regulars, but they're old. They're like 80, 85, right? And I walk up to the table, and they look at me and they go, Hey, Ro, it's his birthday today. And I go, Cancer! And they go, What? And I go, He's a, he's a cancer. And that's when I realized you don't yell cancer to 85 year old people. Oh. Any other sign would have been appropriate. Leah, but uh, it had to be the disease. So, uh, <laughs> no, okay, I've, I've had, you know, whatever. I, I'm, I'm glad I'm in a relationship, but I've had, you know, booty calls and blah, blah, blah. But here's the thing. There's certain rules when you have booty calls. We all know this, right? Um, now, I was hooking up with this guy and uh, a while back, and he said, uh, he tried to, okay, he tried to slip it in the back. Okay, no. For me, back there, that's the relationship hole. Okay? <laughs> this is we're friends. <laughs> Right? This is single on Facebook. This is in a relationship. <laughs> now, I do feel that way, but now the problem is my boyfriend is 6'7", he's 300 pounds, he's black and white, sounds like a panda, but he's, he's got a size 15... I don't feel that way anymore. I feel like this is the 25-year anniversary for <laughs> Many, many years down the line. <laughs> See what happens. Somebody mentioned uh, R. Kelly, right? Do you guys know that song, uh, the Lady Ga the what is it, Lady Gaga and R. Kelly? Yeah. She, the Do What You Want With My Body? With R. Kelly, she's singing that song with R. Kelly. He's, he's peed on people. Does she know, does she know this? <laughs> he's older now, I'm sure he does other things now. <laughs> I, uh, I was just wondering, it was a random thought, don't mind me. I did acid for like a year when I was 18, so now I have random thoughts. Um, don't do acid, everybody. It's like my little PSA. Don't do acid. If you do, don't do your makeup, because your face doesn't do so, and, and you know, I am glad I'm up, because I'm, okay, I can't say my age. There's young people here, right? Is there anybody in like their 30s? The Generation Z, Zima. Are we, have Zima here? Generation Zima? Yeah. We got it? Okay. Because things change when you're in your 30s, right? Everybody, you, the youngins, uh, there's like a group of young guys here. How old are you guys, like, in that row? Are you old enough to be here or no? How old are you, kid? You're 19? Oh, that's like two in man years. Good for you. No, okay. I, I have a younger, I'm like the cougar. I have a younger boyfriend. He's, um... Okay, put it this way. I know where I was the year he was born. Okay, that's... Don't judge me. But the challenger was about to happen. Okay, so anyway, so... Because it changes, am I right, everybody? It changes in your 30s. Things change. Uh, 
you know, I I was at a, a club slash restaurant the other night and I took a vitamin. I used to take ecstasy, you know, like <laughs> my one hitter now is a Keurig machine, okay? It used to be, you know, I used to burn my eyebrow from smoking pot on the one, you know, like I drink orange juice because I like it, not to increase my acid trip. Do you see how everything has changed? Right? I'm not gonna go down on my knees. I might not get back up. I have bad knees. Do we have Boston Red Sox fans in the crowd? Okay. Oh yeah, and my friend, she's a Boston Red Sox fan. So, um, I'm not. And, um, and... <laughs> right? Uh, okay, here's what happened real quick, I'll tell you. So the Yankees and the Phillies were playing in, in a, a world, the World Series a few years ago, right? I was out here, I have a friend that's a Phillies fan, right? And she goes, hey, we should watch the, the game together, right? Because I'm a Phillies fan, you're a Yankees fan, cool. She goes, hey, come out to this bar called The Shack in Santa Monica, right? It's a Phillies bar, but who cares, right? And I go, well, how Phillies could it be? We're in LA, right? Can't be that Phillies, right? So I show up my Yankee shirt, seventh inning, yes. Exactly. Uh, we're losing. Uh, I open the door and I look in and all I see is red. And I think, oh fuck. This is a Phillies ball. I was like, I can't get out of here. So I turn to leave and they sense me and they, they swore me and they go, BOW! You know, fuck you, yeah, yeah, you bow. And my friend grabs me and they go, fuck you, Ray, yeah, get down. Like, lost their mind. I would have been safer as a crip in a blood bar. Do you understand how dangerous this was? So Fox News is there and they come up to me with the mic and they're like, are you nuts? They're like, are you crazy, right? And my clip on um, the, the news was me going, let it never be said a New Yorker doesn't have class. That's me, I was chewing up, right? Uh, we scored one run and I was like, <laughs> so after all this, right, the bartender goes, hey, you, come here. And he's dressed decked in Philly stuff. And I go, yeah, what? And he goes, I'm on your side. <laughs>